Good evening, everybody. Uh, today I will be 
What the fuck is happening to the music? All right, time to close some shit. God, what happened to the music? Why is it stopped? Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, whatever. Uh, yeah, let's just transfer, uh, transition over to the uh, the uh, main thing for today, which will be writing advice. As you may know, I am basically the son of a writer, and I have inherited many of his skills. I know a lot of his uh, tips, tricks, funny game facts, you know, all that shit. And I decided to uh, try imparting some of that onto my viewers so that you can go out and create your own cool shit. So yeah, first off, you know, the uh, usual stuff, you know, oh, you gotta get into doing it daily, you know, you get a little bit out a day, and then you can, uh, you know, slowly scale up the amount you can work on each day until you're like the manager and just working basically constantly, which is not healthy. You should aim to find an uh, amount of work that works best for your schedule. Ah. Oh, sorry, I got a fucking stuffed up nose. But uh, yeah, you should aim to uh, find an amount of work that allows you to remain consistently productive while still opening up plenty of time for you to uh, relax afterwards. How the manager does it is, uh, when he was writing, he would uh, wake up at like 9 in the morning. You know, good, early, great time to start working. And then he would uh, just work and work and work until like uh, around 4, which is when he would, you know, get ready for his evening nap. And they would usually nap for between 15 and 45 minutes. This is a good, quick power nap. And it can... And it uh, would, you know, propel him, at least, to uh, be able to wake up and either go right back into working, which is not healthy, <laughs> or uh, he would just start lazily... Uh, Going around relaxing. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm still kind of tired. Huh. All right, what's with this uh notification? I need to like stop checking notifications in the middle of the stream. Yeah, watch this is gonna be garbage. It's gonna be trash. It's just uh, someone else uh, doing their thing. Uh, oh yeah, the yeah stuff. Fuck. So yeah, um, what manager would do is oh yeah, I just went over that. <laughs> uh, as for remaining focused, uh, what did he do? Oh yeah, he would usually like uh, not put music on, and when he did, it was usually very high energy, so that it like took up all his brain power to just fucking, you know, like uh, if it was low energy music, he'd just be like sleeping, or he'd be goofing the fuck off. So what he would always do is he'd uh, put on high energy intense music that would like you know get the ape brain part of his brain just uh focused on the task at hand and afterwards he would uh allow uh afterwards he would uh you know just write uh usually the aim was 2,000 words a day uh some days it had to be less 
That's all right. Ah, fuck. A fly just landed on my nose. But, uh, yeah, some days it had to be less, some days it had to be more to make up for the days when it had to be less. And overall, it was, uh, worth it. Uh, at least in his opinion, because it allowed him to complete something he wanted to do for a long time. Eh. Mm. 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 Oh, fuck. Still drowsy. So yeah, what this boils down to is, uh, you know, keep focused. Try not to get, you know, too caught up in checking bullshit. And uh, ah, fuck. And uh, hello yourself to uh, find adequate time to both relax and work. Ah, eh. All right, let's see what's next. What's next on the fucking notes manager gave me? Uh, oh yeah, tell you guys about the character creation process he goes through. So, when the manager is writing, he uh, likes to start with characters because he feels that uh, every good story has a nice cast of characters, you know, just people that you would recognize even when boiled down to their, like, basic essential concepts. So how he does this is for every character, he makes a 20 word or less concept. This concept will usually is just a basic description of what the character is about. And from there, he builds outward. You know, it's like planting a seed. That seed grows and then it uh, jets big. Ah, fuck. I, I, I gotta, like, uh, talk quicker before I lose track and start talking about uh, funny penis jokes. Uh, okay. So, uh, here, let me, uh, here, let me just fucking fix something. Pay no attention to the bitch behind the curtain. Ah, fuck. Ow, my eyes. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, so, uh, yeah, the second step, uh, he does is he will think about what the character's habits are. Now, it may not seem that important, but very subtle things like how a character, you know, bathes or what foods they prefer can do wonders in characterizing them well. Because believe it or not, everybody has different, weird, fucked up ideas about how they should do things. Like, uh, you might think, oh yeah, I wipe my ass, uh, top to bottom, because that's the easiest way. But there might be people, you know, there might be people who, uh, like, take a, you know, take a handful of toilet paper and just fucking start pulling that shit out. <laughs> like, not everyone's the same, and I think getting those basic differences out of the way first is, uh key to getting to the more important parts because like if you can't if you can't look at a character and think that fucker wipes top to bottom it'll be harder to think well how how would uh how does this situation play out well i don't fucking know i didn't think about that earlier <laughs> what the fuck who's pinging me B five oh fuck. Who's pinging me like a cuck? Ah <coughs> oh, fuck my throat. 
gonna take a sip. Oh, oh. Uh, oh, it's just someone posting about the Evo sale. Nice. <laughs> All right. Well, where was I? Okay, I remembered. Yeah. But like, yeah, the the like a little pyramid. Let me just uh get Microsoft Paint open. <laughs> Come on. All right, control zoom out. Yeah, here we go. Let's just uh, throw this in here for shits and giggles. <laughs> Cancel. Do not add a new scene. Yeah, add a new uh, window. Yeah, there we go. Huh, perfect. So let's uh yeah, let's get that small. Let's get that over here. Alright, so uh yeah. So if we like take this, we make a funny triangle. Right? First layer. Yeah, the first layer is concept, which is 20 words or less. So the second layer is habit. What does the character do in most situations? Yeah, most normal You know, so you think, uh, how would this character, like, uh, wash their hair? Do they, you know, do it from the bottom of the hair up to the top? Like, you know, how most people recommend doing it to minimize tangling? Or do they do it from the top down? Because that's the way your hand moves when you're doing that shit. Like, it's very minor, but it's very important, uh, like, details like this. That can fuck you over if someone's not paying attention. I just realized I forgot to just dunk. There we go. Alright, so. Next layer. Let's just slide this back down. Yeah, so there we go. We have the concepts, 20 words or less, the habits. Next, we're going to want, what can this, what are these characters' abilities? What can they, they do? This is fairly self-explanatory. If a character has some sort of special ability, you're going to want to think what are they able to do? What can this character conceivably do with whatever funny abilities I have given them? Can they shoot fire out of their cock? No? Well, what else can they do? This is important as it might help in shaping further uh, character design decisions. So let's get another funny little uh, segment here. So now we go and we take into account uh, what are they like? What is their personality made up of? 
Who are they as as a person? So this is where you start. Uh, well, actually, no. The personality can be created from uh, just you know looking at the, how the concept interacts with the habits. So I'd say it goes a little further up. But what are their flaws? What kind of gamer word her words would they use? Like it's kind of it's kind of fucking rock in brain to think about it like this. But really, like get into your own head, which you should already be doing as a writer. What slurs would my fucking characters probably be throwing around? If they're not the kind to use such language, well, what other problems do they have? Is my character violently racist? No? Okay. Does my character have a drug problem? You know, you gotta think. What immoral acts would my character perform for less than a dollar? So now we have the flaws out of the way. We're gonna wanna, you know, add on the basics that most people come up with first. You know, their personality. there. Here we go. Let's just get that in the front. In the Yeah, here we go. We're gonna want to come up with Ah, fuck. Their face. Well, actually, no. That goes a bit higher up. Since I consider that literally the least important part, we're gonna put that right near the top. And right there, nestled between the face and the personality, is the name. The way I build characters is that I do not consider whether they're, like, a man, a woman, a freak who does something different. What matters is uh, who they are as a person, what's wrong with them, what they can and cannot do. And... Overall, what they uh, what they are made up of. What the fuck? What is this penis music? Yeah, it's kind of fucking. All right. So right there, nestled between personality and face, is name. Once you have this entire pyramid done... Let me just, uh... Here we go. Yeah, once you have the entire pyramid... ...done... You have the entire man. Yeah, let's just uh, bump this up. There we go. Yeah, let's just uh, copy and paste that. Now, as for tips for getting your, uh, as for tips for getting your book published, uh, you might want to, like, first check, does main, does, like, normally punish, publishing my stuff fit my style? And if not, consider finding other ways to disseminate your work. But if it does, 
and you don't want to has uh, go through the hassle of having to count on a big publishing house, you're going to want to uh, set it up so that you can publish through Kindle Direct Publishing, which is what the manager has done. So, uh, it's a bit of a lengthy process, but it's worthwhile because, uh, it's worthwhile because it's something that anyone can do and it requires very minimal effort. Of course, my only problem is that, uh, manager told me that the cover tool they have fucking sucks like it is not accurate whatsoever it's awful it's terrible like uh that's the only re thing he would recommend uh like getting actual professional uh publishing done over instead of uh just going around on kindle hoping jeff bezos doesn't tell you hey this file's the wrong size What does that bald fuck know anyways? Piece of shit. Should've thought about fucking not being bald before fucking lecturing an author. As for, uh... Yeah, as for coming up with uh, stuff like cool abilities for characters, uh, what the manager likes to do is uh, sometimes he will simply begin researching a topic and will not stop for several days. And then when he knows everything, he thinks, yeah, I could make this into a cool character idea. Give me a second. And then you will simply go ahead, make that into a character idea. Like a recent example is, uh, spent a while uh, studying uh, stone masonry. And he said, oh, wouldn't it be cool if there was a character who uh, was a stone mason and used a hammer and chisel as a weapon. And now this concept probably won't go anywhere. But it's still kind of a cool. And I think it's uh, interesting to like center characters around, you know, uh, what profession they might perform and then build outward from that. Like, uh, oh, this guy's a stonemason. Since he works with rocks a lot, perhaps he has an interest in geology. And, uh, oh, this guy's a carpenter. Maybe he's kind of into, uh, tree law. <laughs> Where he studies the legality surrounding different, like, property damage that is incurred against a tree and how much that, uh, would cost to, uh, legally mediate. You know, that kind of stuff. It's, uh, definitely, uh, an, an unorthodox method of doing things, but it's oftentimes really fun. Uh, shit, I think, yeah, I think that's all the notes he had. But it hasn't been, like, 40 minutes yet, so I need to, I need some trash. Oh, I know exactly what to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th time to time to start poop shitting it. Time to get stupid. I'm definitely going to get put in the cold room for this, but I don't care because this video is funny. <laughs> you guys need to see it. Again. 
Come on, load faster. Load faster. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Fuck, I'm like devolving into an ape. Yeah, so we go in, swap this out for this. <laughs> yeah, it's that time of day again. Oh, oh this is stupid as shit, I love it. Just fucking dead.